Welcome to the Create with Ease podcast. I am Grace Covington, your host, and today's topic is creating your life as a utopia. I honestly never thought that it is actually possible to live your life as a utopia. And the way that I define utopia is when you are creating a life that you truly enjoy living, a life that consistently brings you joy. So it's not just a life where you only experience joy when you are on vacation, when you're traveling, you are consistently receiving and creating joy no matter where you are. You wake up excited to be alive, excited that you are here on this planet, ready to experience everything that is here for you. And no matter what shows up, you still create your life, you still live it, you still enjoy the succulence of living no matter what is showing up. So my first experience, I just didn't come to this space. It took a while for me to really immerse myself in what I now call the utopia of living, the utopia of being alive. I would notice that there were certain times in my life where I would be experiencing total joy or I would be in a space where I was just deeply happy and it wasn't really attached to anything around me. It was from this space, this sense of being me and being embodied in my body and then just allowing everything to contribute to me. And my first experience with this was when I was young. I, When I was young, I played outside a lot. I was outdoors for long stretches of hours and I would play by myself. So I had become resourceful where I was using my creativity, I was using my imagination. I was allowing the flowers to be my friends and all of these imaginary beings literally came alive and contributed to the magic of my life. And I was so happy. I was so happy. I looked forward each morning to go outside and create my life. I was consistently creating my life. And so as I got older, I moved away from that energy. I really started to look outside of myself for, to experience joy. So society teaches you once you start, you know, generating a certain income, once you have a certain career, once you finally get married, have the 2.5 kids, have the beautiful home, then you will finally be happy. So I went on that path of acquiring all these different things, but I really wasn't happy. I moved away from the things that truly brought me joy in favor of what other people thought joy should be and aligned myself with living my life almost controlled by other people. So if someone said, do this and you'll be happy, then I would be the person doing that. And a lot of people pleasing, like so afraid to make people uncomfortable, just wanted to make everyone happy. And when you live your life from that space, you don't really have any joy at all because you're looking for validation. You're looking for people to tell you that you are a good person. You are looking for people to approve of you and 
you start to fit in and start to cut different parts of yourself off and take away from the gift of you, the gift of this utopia that is in front of you. So I was fortunate in my life. I've always been a seeker and I knew that I had that experience. It has always been ingrained in me of my childhood, of the moments where I was in utter bliss and that utter bliss did not come from anyone. It was generated from my creation of living, from me receiving myself, from me not having all these expectations of people and truly being me. So I remembered that and I naturally started to seek after that energy and went through so many uh, modalities, so many healing uh, modalities. Some contributed a lot, some opened up doors to receiving me. Some were okay, so it was just a, a variable mixture of things, but they were some that truly changed my life and allowed me to step into the space where I was really receiving the gift of who I am and coming back to the space of utopia and falling in love with me, falling in love with life, falling in love with so many different things. And so there was a running theme that started to show up and that was really my choice in choosing what truly brings me joy, choosing what honors me. And I started to make those choices where I was following the energy of really creating my life from all of these things and not making myself wrong for really being happy and for having a good life and for having good things in my life. Because sometimes there is this sense of guilt that shows up where you are living too much, you're having too much. And then what ends up happening is people start to fall back into those patterns of fitting in, of approval, and all of those things that hold us back. And so what I discovered for me is the things that really create this utopia is one, when I am showing up in the world as me without the judgments without the space of you know perfectionism and trying to get things right and just have this curiosity of life of I am in this moment right now and I am going to enjoy every molecule that is present in this moment and I am going to receive everything that is showing up in my life and really, 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 really enjoy it and be present in it and also start to create with that energy. And so when you start to live your life from this space, so many things start to show up in your world that most people don't have access to. You will often be led on these paths that lead to greater possibilities. And some of those possibilities will require you moving. And, you know, we have, we moved from a really cold state to now being in, you know, our home base is in Florida and now creating our lives around everything that we love. I know travel is a big piece of the utopia where we are traveling and you know, all over the world and spending time experiencing different cultures and enjoying different countries, creating 
in different countries and not being limited by your location. Florida will always be our home. I absolutely enjoy our home and where we live. It is like when we come back from traveling, it is like a utopia being here in our home because we have created that space and created our home to be a utopia and include everything that will contribute to us in our home. So whether it is flowers, I know flowers contribute so much joy. As you heard me speak in the beginning that when I was growing up, I was outside and surrounded by so many beautiful, beautiful flowers. And so I have a garden that I grow. It is not a big one. It's a small one that allows me to still travel the world and for my plants to thrive. So that is a utopia that contributes so much when we are here. And then I have indoor plants as well. And the same thing, um, those, these plants are just such a joy. And I just have the right amount. And every time when we go, sometimes we're gone for you know up to 30 days and these plants we still come back and they are happy and just continuing to grow so the energy that they are surrounded by allows them to thrive so if you are wondering what it will take for you to live your life as a utopia It is really coming back to this sense of truth with you and looking at what it is that brings you joy and then choosing to receive all of those things and create all of those things. And the more you honor yourself and take the leaps and make the choices that will open up a different possibility for your life, those things start to show up in your life. So you may be thinking in your head, what a, you know, life is not always a bed of roses. And my point of view around that is you have the capacity to change anything and not to be at the effect of your reality. I see so many people when life becomes hard or difficult they start stop creating their lives they sort of sort of just fall into the and get themselves immersed into the those moments those difficult moments and make those moments so real and true when you're creating a utopia you're going to have a mixture of everything you are going to have those moments that we have labeled as difficult and That is absolutely okay when those things show up. What you will start to find is you will start to be able to change those moments. And sometimes change doesn't mean like it's going to happen instantaneously. Some things, yes, they work that way where you're able to change the hard things in life real quick, easy, and simple. And some things are going to take some time. It's going to take you having different experiences. It's going to take you building certain muscles so you can change things. Some things, you know, have deeper layers underneath them and it is a work in progress. But the more you are stepping into this space of really seeing the truth of life, that life is not against you, that everything that comes to you is a gift and you will, that moment will pass. And if you receive the gift of that moment, rather than running away from it, rather than avoiding it, rather than becoming a victim, then that moment actually changes a lot quicker than when you are in resistance to it. And sometimes it does take you to go through the whole process where sometimes you are in resistance, sometimes you are having a challenge with it, and it is okay, but if underneath, in your center, in your core, you know that a different possibility is going to open up 
for you, then these moments turn into the treasures of your life that will allow you to propel, that will propel you to your next level, that will open you up to being able to actually have more than you probably would not experience if you would have not had the experience that you have labeled as difficult and hard. Another thing that I have noticed that keeps away the space of being a utopia is not committing to your life. I think sometimes people will be wishy-washy with what they're actually looking to create in their life. So it, with creation, you are going to have to take action. There is an aspect to that. There is the magic of creation where things show up with total ease. And then there's also this aspect where you are also taking action. And what I see is sometimes people don't commit to those action steps and they say they really want a utopia, but when you look at the choices that they're making, they're not making those choices that will create the utopia. So let's say you are in a career that you do not enjoy, but you still stay in that same career because you're comfortable, because you are afraid of the unknown, and yet there could be a different possibility that's available for you once you make the difficult choice of, I'm going to choose something different. I'm going to step outside of my comfort zone. So that's one aspect of that. Or you are in business and you know that you should move in a different direction, but you're afraid because if you move in that direction, you may make other people uncomfortable. You may be judged as being inconsistent or confusing, and you don't want to make waves. You just want everything to stay the same so that you don't have any disruption in your life. These are the things that stop the utopia from showing up in your world. And the space of utopia is where you consistently are being curious in life and choosing different things and being willing to go where no one else is willing to go and being willing to have what no one else is willing to have. So in that space, you must be willing to receive judgment because you are going to be judged by a lot of people for your choices because you're basically choosing, you're no longer choosing to please people, but you are choosing what truly works for you. And what truly works for you actually contributes to everyone around you rather than going into the space of judgment of is this right or wrong but knowing that when you choose for you you are actually contributing to every single person around you just by your choice and your commitment to you so oh my goodness the way the utopia has shown up in my world um it's shown up in so many dynamic ways you've heard me talk about travel we just came back from panama city and oh my goodness i know you've heard me talk about panama city so much there were just certain aspects of this trip that was almost like being in an eternal paradise where the beauty, the peace, the stillness, the contribution from everything around us, that it was just so mesmerizing and so healing and transformational that I actually 
have made big choices in my life and business that are in more alignment to what is true for me in terms of a utopia. And then prior to that, we had taken other trips as as well uh, to Jamaica. Absolutely an amazing island that opened up so much magic for me. I'm truly grateful for my experience in Jamaica and then some other trips in between. If you are interested in seeing what these experiences were like, you can go to my YouTube channel. I have a whole vlog on my on our travel adventures. I haven't uh, posted the Panama, Panama one yet. That will be coming soon. And so a question that I often get as well is about when you are living in this utopia, how do you support yourself? How do you generate a thriving income and do it in a way where it is pleasurable, it is honoring of your body, it is fun, it is joyful. You can actually have all of that. So right now, if you are not happy in the way that you are creating your life or how money is showing up or how you actually create your life or how you generate and create money, you can completely change all of that and structure your life in a way where you are generating wealth, revenue, creating assets from a space of joy and getting paid doing all the things that you enjoy. We often forget that our gifts are here to change the world and the more that you are sharing your gifts, there is this energy exchange that takes place. When you give, you receive and you receive in terms of receiving money, in terms of receiving more joy, in terms of your life expanding more, when you are living and operating your life and creating it from that space of your gifts and everything that you enjoy. So I have come up with this amazing framework that not only is healing and not only brings wealth to you, but it is a transformational process that allows you to tap into those gifts, even gifts that you've hidden from yourself that you may not know that you have, bringing those to light and then start to change the world while you are receiving and being supported and creating the money that you require to live your utopia so that your body has so much joy, so that you're contributing more into the world and you are surrounded by all of the things that will add more to your life. So if you have interest in that, I will have openings beginning October. They are starting to fill up. Go to my, the best way right now is to go through to my Instagram, send me a DM and let me know that you're interested, or you can send me an email at grace at create with ease, put in the subject line, I'm interested, and I will give you more information in how you can start to step into the sacred space that is changing so many people's lives just by their choice and their commitment to creating what it is to live in a space of utopia, what utopia actually is for you. So thank you so much for listening to this week's episode. I was excited to record this episode. Once the topic came through, I was like, this is a conversation I would like to have. It is an important conversation that needs to be in the world so, so more people can know that you can have your cake and eat it too, that you can create the life that you truly desire. You can live the life that you truly, truly, truly 
have been asking for and it will show up and it will show up with so much ease. Have a fabulous week and go and celebrate your life. Go outside and breathe in fresh air and be in a space of gratitude for the gift of life that you have been given. Thank you for listening and I am Grace Covington. Visit my website at www.createwithease.com.